All right. What's up, tycoons? What up, traders? Very excited for today's video. Going to give you all an update on quant real quick. Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of people are probably panicking at the time, but it's really just a good time to understand the price action, really understand what's going on with the market. Of course, everything with Sam Bankman Freed or Sam Brokeman Fraud, as I like to call him now. And, you know, FTX, of course, that has hurt quant as well as hurt the overall crypto market as a whole. But it's really a good time to just understand some of the recent price action and look at the sell and buy signals. OK, no matter what price action is always going to precede the news. And it did that specifically with quant before the news even came out of FTX and before the sell off happened, there was already a sell signal. So I'm going to break it down and just, you know, show you guys what's going on and teach you guys how to use the MACD down here, as well as the relative strength index. OK as well as chart patterns and the fibs and how using the retracement levels can give you a really, really good idea of whether we are in an uptrend, whether or we are trying to start a reversal, so on and so forth. Okay. So I really want to give a shout out to Quant because as we were following it on the channel, we did a great job of hitting our bullish price targets right here on this inverse head and shoulders. Uh, if we zoom in, we can see on the daily candlesticks, we actually closed exactly at the bullish price target right here. Okay, so look at how perfect that was. Uh, that was a great trade. Now, what we were looking for was a healthy retracement to the downside and then a continuation of the trend to hit the further bullish price targets, but we didn't do that. And so what we're looking at now is we're going to be looking at the major levels that we have to break through in order to start, you know, another uptrend okay because basically we're in the process of trying to start a reversal right here and the way that these retracement levels work okay now we're measuring the swing high down to the swing low and nothing is going to move in a straight line up or down it's going to come down then retrace and then continue the downtrend possibly uh, as it did when we came up retraced and then continued the uptrend okay so you do that by using this fib tool over here and specifically you want to look at the 61.8 percent that's the golden ratio the 50% level and the 38.2, these are the three most common retracement levels. So if we do rally and get rejected in between these three levels, most likely we're going to continue a downtrend. But if we come up all right, and then find support in these areas and break through, then that's when we can start another reversal and look to make a higher high. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to break that down. Now, what I mean by looking at the signals, all right, if we pull up our MACD and zoom in on the MACD a little bit, we had a sell signal on the MACD, which I was telling people, you know, when we hit the bullish price targets up here, you know, yeah, we could pull back, but you know, you can hold on to the play until you get a MACD sell signal. Now we got that sell signal right about here. And if you look that we had a very sharp drop and this uh, again, you know, this sell signal came out way before the FTX uh, fiasco and quant dropped 50 percent. All right. Based off of that MACD sell signal. Now, recently, we just got a buy signal. Not only did we get a buy signal, but we actually have bullish divergence building, which leads me to believe that we are going to come back up and retest these retracement levels uh, at least to about 145 uh, in the near future. Now, we may get stopped out. OK, and we may not come up to those levels. And if we do, again, we could break through them. All right. And break the retracement pattern. All right. That would be lovely to see, to see quant not do this, but actually come up and do that. All right. But this is, you know, again, understanding the price action. Right. So that's what the whole purpose of this video is. And if you're learning anything so far, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. But we'll go ahead and, and dive further. So not only that, but we have a little bit of a double bottom going on here. Right. We have kind of a double bottom right here and we could be forming a nice little w play okay uh that would not surprise me if we get that again we have the macd buy signal so the sell signal was when the blue line crossed below the orange line right here and here we're seeing a buy signal we're seeing the blue line cross above the orange line okay so that's a buy signal we're going to look to see if the blue line can continue momentum and can continue trading far above the orange line that's going to uh, be very helpful and indicate you know that there's more bullish activity to come now we have bullish divergence right here notice how we have a low here and then we go lower right so you know the token is in a slight downtrend but the relative strength index 
which obviously measures the relative strength of a token at its given price is going up and in an uptrend. So what we're seeing is the strength of the token is going up as the token is going slightly lower. This is a term known as bullish divergence. It indicates we may see some bullish activity in the future. So we started off with some bullish divergence and then we got a MACD buy signal and we, we have a double bottom on the chart and we know that nothing goes in a straight line up or down that most likely we're going to retrace to one of these three levels up here before ultimately making a decision on whether or not we're going to continue the downtrend down or reverse, okay, and try to start a, a new uptrend, all right? So that's it for today's video. Just wanted to break it down for you guys uh, and, you know, tell you guys not to panic, you know, pay attention to what's going on with the price action, really try to understand some of the movement and always remember that price action is going to precede the news. Uh, so sometimes, you know, you may see a bullish setup, you may get a couple buy signals and then out of nowhere, the token skyrockets because, oh, there's there's some rumor or there's some news that came out, some bullish news. Uh, you know, the price action is, will always precede that. As we can see, we got a sell signal far below or far before any of the FTX drama happened. And ultimately, we ended up dropping about 50 percent off of that. So, again, that's it for today's video. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe. I do view a request every single week. So if you want to see your crypto in the next video, make sure to comment down below. Um, you know, I try to at least do one or two a week. Sometimes I do a lot more. It just depends on, you know, what the schedule is like.